Okay, guys, thank you for coming to our Climbing the Ladder team call. It's a combination of Team 360 and Team Fit Force. Today is Monday, August 22nd, I believe. And we are going to be talking tonight about the health bet. You guys, this is a huge deal for us because there are people, I don't know about you, but I have previous customers, people who have never been customers, who are coming out of the woodwork for this thing. They are so excited um, about doing something with the health bet. And I know for a lot of us, it's like, what the heck is it? I know for me, I had heard about it when I was, um, I've had clients that have done it and that's actually how they've gotten healthy. Um, but I've actually never participated in it. So I've had to do a little research. So what is a health bet? The health bet is a challenge group run on the My Challenge Tracker app, and you're going to do it between September 5th and October 2nd. Personally, I am starting my group on August 29th because I want to get people ready. So that'll kind of be a prep week for us, at least in for my group, because you're going to need to be doing it through the Challenge Tracker app. You it does not count if you do it on Facebook. So you better get used to the Challenge Tracker app and make sure that your customers know how to use it. It's pretty easy, um, but definitely uh, make sure you play around with it if you haven't used it at all yet. And Beachbody is current, what they're currently doing is creating a pool ranging from one to three million dollars and splitting it evenly among all eligible participants. So right now, um, Beachbody put in a million dollars and then for every challenge pack sold between, I believe it's July 27th and the end of August, they're putting in another $5. So it's up to 1.3 and it has the potential to go to 3 million. That is a lot of money. And that, you know, that's a lot, that would do a lot for a lot of people. And so a lot of people want to be in on this. Participants will get paid to work out and drink their Shakeology over the four week period. So they have to log three workouts and five shakes in a week. Um, and it has to be between September 5th and October 2nd. They have to be making sure they're doing it during that time. So this is a great time for you to be able to connect with your old challengers, new challengers, old coaches, get new coaches, um, just everybody. And we're going to show you um, how to do it. They do need to be a registered valid Team Beachbody customer. So they have to be in the U.S. or Canada. Quebec, uh, Quebec is, I believe, excluded from this um, because there are regulations in different areas, um, especially when there's kind of like a pot of money <laughs> involved. Um, so they have to be able to put their first and last name in, their email address, and their shipping address. So you no know, people living um, in the U.K. unless um, I'm sure unless it's on a military base are not going to be eligible. So um, make sure they have a valid shipping address an email address and their first and last name and they're in the team beach body system and they have to be invited by a coach. They can't do it without you because as you know, the challenge tracker app doesn't work without a coach. So it's a great, great time to do it. All right. One second here. Lauren, you ready, girl? Yep. Sorry. Okay, so what we're going to talk about is kind of um, a strategy that this was actually um, kind of compiled by some coaches, and one specific, Shelly Hobbs, um, kind of gave us her, like, rundown on how she's been loading everybody into these groups and it's been amazing and it really does work so we wanted to share it with you guys um and it's kind of like what we already do this is what exactly what we already do it's just that we're adding that extra component of using the my challenge tracker app so these are just some ideas we're not saying you have to do this but these are some this is a great way for you guys to start promoting this like today if you haven't been already um so step one is you can create a facebook group and like an event and you can invite everybody that you know this way they have the option to join your event you can be posting all kinds of information about the health bed in there you can go live it's just a way for you to give people more information you can also it's also a way for you to invite everybody without adding two people to a group without their permission um, it's just a great way to get the word out just in case people are not seeing your posts um, 
the, because remember Facebook only shows your post about 10% of your audience. So the other thing is, is to create a Facebook group that people can actually join when you share your link with them. Um, personally, and we've talked about this before, at least this is my personal opinion, do not ever add someone to a group without their permission because that is like a big no-no and it makes us look really bad and I know it drives me bonkers <laughs> when people do that, so please don't do that to somebody else. But you do, you can have a Facebook group where you can add people to the, or you can um, give the, your link out and you can have them go here. Um, it's just an extra step that you can do, but it's a great place to kind of help people learn how to actually use the app once they have said yes um, to like through your Facebook event and they said, yeah, I want to do this. Then you can add them to the group, um, teach them how to use the app, how to download it, how to set it up. Um, you can kind of do a little bit of pre prep type stuff if you want. Um, it's just to get everybody pumped up and excited and encouraging them if they haven't actually bought something like their Shakeology or if they're not, they're not actually paid up yet to join the challenge then it's a great place for you to kind of like give them that little nudge um, because you don't want to add people to your challenge tracker up until they've actually become a paid customer they're actually on the Shakeology and they're actually using um, programs they don't have to use the programs you guys but it's really like an added benefit so you really want to get them using if they don't want to do a specific one have them do the Beachbody on demand challenge pack get yourself some success club points because they're gonna pay the same exact price for that as they would be paying for just their Shakeology by themselves. And you have to have Shakeology to use to, to participate in this bet. So they're going to re-up it. They might as well because they're going to actually save money because they're going to save that extra $5 on shipping um, by doing the Beach Body On Demand Challenge back. And now they have extra workouts they can use. Um, then you want to post about it on your page a lot. This isn't like a post it on Sunday night and then hope people see it and not post about it again. This is something you guys can do um, every, really every single day. You can be adding in little breadcrumbs and then doing three, like I would be doing at least three hard posts about this this week to get people started and next week. Um, and it, you can do them spread out. You can do one tonight if you want. If you've missed tonight, because I know it's late for East Coasters, do it first thing tomorrow morning and then do another one on Thursday. People really don't care on Fridays so much, but do it again on like Saturday night or Sunday, but people are probably going to be out partying Saturday. So I like to do Sunday nights as well. Um, this is something you can do. Different ways you can do this. We're going to talk about it later, but you want to get creative with the ways in which you're talking about it. So you're not just saying the same thing over and over again, but you can do different things. Um, chat with people who request to join the group. Make sure that you're not just saying, oh yay, somebody wanted to join the group. Like actually when some, when you see that somebody has requested, go to their page and start a conversation with them or click message and start a conversation same way you would this figure out what their goals are figure out what they're excited about get them amped up and really like ready to go for this challenge because you want them to succeed and the more excited they are the more likely that it's going to be that they're not going to miss one of the like the days i know it happens to all of us myself included i forget to like log my shakeology this is another way for them to be accountable and they're going to have to be on top of that so um it'll just help them get started. Um, make sure that you're posting in that group daily. Kind of treat it for these next couple of weeks as we're leading up to the uh, the challenge tracker app. If you're not starting your challenge tra tracker app group early, like Tanya and I are on the 29th, then you know you definitely want to be using this daily group just to kind of show people like here's what I'm doing. This is how I would. This is what you can expect in this health bet challenge group. Um, share screenshots with them if you want so that they can kind of see what the challenge tracker app looks like and um, how it's working. If you've never run a group before and yours isn't started, all you have to do is go type in my challenge tracker app in Google and hit images and ton of them, a ton of images of people's screenshots of their phone will actually come up. Just use one of those. Um, so, uh, just kind of sharing sharing the excitement again and creating that urgency because if you can't this isn't like a normal challenge group where you know maybe some of us are a little bit lenient and if somebody buys a challenge pack on like the 25th then we're like or i mean let's say they were to buy it on the 5th 
we could add them in. It doesn't work that way with this. They have to be registered and like a valid user by the September 4th, the evening of September 4th, because they are going to lock down all of who the participants are starting the morning of September 5th um, Pacific Standard Time. So we've got to create that sense of urgency. Like if this is what you want to do, you have got to get started by September 4th. Um, like paid up, ready to go September 4th. Now you don't have to pay anything into this, so don't get me wrong, but you do have to have Shakeology. So if they don't have it yet, then they need to make sure that they're getting, getting that in and getting that ordered before September 5th. Um, then set up your actual challenge tracker group. If you've never used it before, make sure you download the app on your computer. Um, and then once people are actually ready to go, they've agreed, they are registered as your customer, um, and they have their Shakeology, everything set, then you add them into that challenge tracker app. Make sure you get their email address so you can add them, um, and then get them started. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry, okay. So creating the group. Tony, I can't see my screen. So is that you or is that me? Yep, that's me. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, creating the group. So for those of you who have never used, I can't see everybody since my screen is shared, or I would ask you, like, who has all used the Challenge Tracker app before and who hasn't? But you guys, this is so simple. It's really, really easy. Go to your app store, download Challenge Tracker app. Um, and then to actually create a group, if you guys can see this up here, um, you have to actually go on your computer to the My Challenge Tracker portal. portal um, and it's literally just that, mychallengetrackerportal.com. And um, you can log in using your Team Beachbody email and password, and then simply just click create a group. It's so simple. It really makes it so easy for you guys. If you're not sure about, um, how to create posts and all that stuff. There's actually like a little button that will say, you know, here's our challenge group guides. And you can literally go in there and just download a challenge group guide and take posts from there if you've never done this on your own. So you don't have anything to be scared about because there's tons of content for you guys. My recommendation would be after you have everybody's email addresses, you can go in and you will click, you know, invite participants using their email address. Once they click join, they're going to be in your group. I would actually choose like one day a week and if you're just like a week ahead scheduler or maybe you've never scheduled the cool thing about the app is that you can actually go in and schedule out your content for a whole week in advance if you're anything like me i am like a off the cuff i don't like doing scheduled posts which is why i love facebook groups so much because i can go live in my challenge groups and i really just i do like one post where i'm sharing something with them every day that's a learning thing and then i go live so here you can't do that but what you can do is you can schedule out a post you can use those challenge group guides if you want you can schedule out a post that's kind of giving them step-by-step -step information of what they need to do next how to stay motivated you know all the normal stuff you would post in your challenge group and then meal plans, all of that stuff. You can upload files and photos. Schedule that stuff ahead of time so that you don't have to think about it. And you can just act as a challenger yourself. And you can go into the group, you know, every day and literally just log your workouts and your shakes just like you would as you're expecting your challengers to do. Um, it's really gonna help everybody stay on track, including yourself as a coach, so you don't feel overwhelmed. Because us as coaches, I know I wanna participate in this, like I wanna win some money. <laughs> so, you know, it'll just help you remember so that you're not worrying. Um, okay, there you go. Help if I unmute. All right, promoting the group, you guys. Keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate this, and please don't post the FAQ or some stock image on your Facebook page. Um, I would, you know, do a picture. We'll share some examples, but do a picture of you. Uh, go live on your page. Both Lauren and I went live today. Several other coaches on this call have gone live. Be specific. Um, share why you're excited. This is a cool thing. This is a great way for people to bet on themselves to you know possibly win some money and hit their health and fitness goals and post as lauren said more than once don't just post one and done you guys this is a big deal and as like um i'm trying you know to reach my customer base and so i'm emailing them 
And I will share the email that I'm going to send them. I'll share that with the group. And I'm also, you know, I'm also messaging them um, because I don't want them to come back and be like, hey, why don't you tell me about this cool health bet thing? You know, if they come and ask me about it on September 7th, and they're going to be probably not very happy with me. I'll be like, well, hey, I sent you an email. I sent you a message. I tried my best. I didn't know what else to do um, besides show up at your door and knock on your windows like a stalker. So not going to do that. So <laughs> at least I tried, right? Because they're going to want to know. So make sure. And the other thing is, is if you don't tell them, they might pick a different coach. So share why you're excited. Post more than once. Don't be shy. Um, like Lauren just said on here, it's like go live, go live. Don't, and like, I hate going live. I am a total extrovert, but going live because I have technology issues all the time makes me want to throw up. But guess what? I do it anyways because you don't grow unless you get out of your comfort zone. Makes me uncomfortable, so that means I should do it. I always tell my team, if it makes you feel like you might throw up, then just do it. Keep your garbage nearby and <laughs> go for it. Um, if I can do it, no, you can, you guys. I have technology issues all the time and I do it. And tonight, the video I did live, um, the first time it said my connection was too weak, it wouldn't do it, so I had to redo it. And I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. But that doesn't happen to most people. That just is special for me, I guess. Um, add a call to action. So I always end with a question or have them like comment below and ask and drop their you know email or say I'm in, have them email you, message you, whatever the preferred way you want them to contact you, have them contact you. Don't just talk about it and then not give them a call to action. They need to know. So make sure you do that. Um, and that's really it. Just keep it simple. Be excited, you guys. This is really cool. And I would make sure, um, as Lauren said, that you're posting regularly about it and make sure that you're, you know, like she said, I'm going to just reiterate this because I see this all the time with coaches. Know when your target market is online and going to make decisions. So Friday and Saturday are not a great time to be posting about this. People are, at least in my demographic, they are checked out. They are tired. They are not thinking about this. They're at their kids' games. They're doing something. Um, I'm in Portland. Everybody's going to be at Hood to Coast this weekend. Nobody's going to be around. Uh, so do it tonight if you can. But if not, do it tomorrow night. Um, I would say Thursday and Sunday. Those are good days to do it. But know when your market's online. You, sh you know, check and see and willing to make a decision. So um, that's how you promote the group. And then you want to yeah. go to the next song? One of the, yeah. One of the things though, like if you, if you do want to say something about it and you feel like it may not be the best time to do like a hard post, a really easy breadcrumbing type thing to do is add a one liner at the end of like your, Hey, I just did a workout. Like I can't wait to start, you know, to get paid for this for a whole month. You know, that's it. You can just add in little things that are leaving little clues where people are like, huh, what is she talking about? She's going to get paid, you know? And you can say, like I said, um, I'm going to get paid and no, I'm not talking about coaching so that people are like, Oh, I don't have to be a coach. Like, what is that about? You know, but it, it gets their mind spinning. So then when you do make your hard post on Sunday or whenever your next time is, then they'll be a little more in tune and curious to under, to hear what you have to say. Okay. So we have um, a ton of examples for you guys. We compiled some examples by asking um, some top coaches, and then we also have some from new coaches. Uh, so we have a good variety here of posts, but um, I'm just going to kind of, I guess we can kind of scroll through them. I have about, I think, six or seven slides of them. Um, but this is Nikki Whiting. She's one of the top coaches in the company. She's a 15-star diamond coach. Um, she's one of the girls uh, that is on my team, not my coach, but like my coach's downline. Um, and this is what she said, is my little like people thing in the way, like, can you guys see her words or is the strip in the way? No, I, uh, I can see it. Okay, good. Okay. So as you can see, like she got a ton of interaction on this post and whoop, I, um, and I screenshotted it like two hours after she did it. And now there's even more interaction on it. So, and it's really simple, you guys. It's not a picture of her in her workout clothes. It's literally just her and she's staring at her phone. So that is a simple picture that anybody can do. Um, and she talks more specifically about the actual health bet. Um, and you'll find a common trend in a lot of the wording in the posts that they're all they're doing is just asking you if you want to make a bet, a bet on yourself, a bet on your health. And they're giving a simple, basic rundown of, 
you know, here's how this is going to work. Here's when it starts. Here's what you have to do. Literally, that's it. And then Nikki explains who she's looking for. She wants a specific challenger because um, she doesn't just want anybody. She wants specific people. And then she explains that the amount that they get paid out, nobody's guaranteed anything, um, but they. this is how this is going to work. Um, you pay nothing into it. All you have to do is commit to the above. And then she gives you the comment, the call to action at the bottom that says comment below if you want to join us. And she says, you know, if you already have a coach, reach out to your coach. Do you want to do this one, Tanya? Yeah, and this is Candace Talbot, and she's actually one of my friends. She just had her third baby. And so, like, she's using her postpartum journey. And she posted a picture of her standing there. And she's like, I got roughly 30 people from my like page from this post. Hope this, oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> that's what she I couldn't cut it out. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. I'm scared. I'm motivated. New moms to get back in shape yet. I'm petrified of my own coaching of myself. If you are postpartum like me and want to join my journey, we can lock arms and cry and sweat in unison. Just comment below. And a little birdie named Carl Deichler said, we may be able to win money transforming together. So, and then she um, put health vet, postpartum, postpartum mom of three. And you guys, she just did a simple picture in her living, um, her living, I think her workout rooms in her, like actually in her living room. And she just did that. And she bre she did a little breadcrumb at the end about, you know, what would happen. And I believe that she um, posted this on her life page. So this is a good one, you guys, especially for those of you that are in your journey and want to also reach you know, your market. She just had a baby. She's trying to lose the pregnancy weight. And so she's appealing to those girls. Okay. So this is a top 10 coach. Um, I have two of two top 10 coaches in here for you guys. And hers is a little bit more wordy, but she's being more specific to her. And this is just, I'm trying to give you guys a wide variety so you can decide what type of post you want to be and what type of, cause it depends. Some people are more storytellers and some people are more breadcrumbers. So I happen to be a storyteller. People relate to my stories. So people will actually read my novel when I write it. But there are some people that if you, if you're not a novel writer, you can't do this because then they're going to stop reading before you get to the point. So we're trying to give you guys a bunch of different examples. Now, Bonnie is somebody that if you follow her and you go to her page, you literally feel like you know her life because she shares her life story with everyone, which is awesome because she's a storyteller and people connect to her because of that. So she's able to share kind of her journey and, um, sorry, I keep getting this little bar at the top. So, um, but she's talking about just how the summer's coming to an end and she's ready to get herself going. And then she asks if you're the betting kind. And then um, she explains a little bit about the, the health bet and how there is a possible up to $3 million pot. And then um, she said, if you weren't motivated to get fit before and this doesn't do it, then I don't know what will. <laughs> um, and then she goes on to talk about how her team is kicking it up a notch and how you always hear people talking about challenge groups and accountability groups. And, you know, she kind of plays on the fact that the people that are always so hesitant to try it out and how they really have nothing to lose here, how it's kind of like playing the lottery. So she just talks about that and how they absolutely will win something as long as they make that commitment to themselves and they show up every day and that that's all they have to do. She explains how it works. She asks them to send her a message um, so that they can figure out what type of workout they're going to do. And, um, then down at the bottom, I didn't, I left this part off because I feel like it's kind of the same. Everybody can understand what she says. She's just saying when they start, please send me your email. Let's get in touch. Done. That's her call to action. Um, but her picture is eye catching. It's a picture of her in the background. And then it explains exactly what you're going to be doing and what you're going to get by joining this health bet. Okay. All right. Yeah, Anita um, Myron, she's also a top 10 coach, and she has, you know, look at her. She's just, she's also got the phone. She's got a picture of her with her Shakeology and her blender, and she actually has done a couple posts. I would encourage you guys to actually go to these pages of these people, write down their names, and go to their pages and take a look at their posts so you can see the interaction on them as well. 
And she says, spots are filling up fast. Act now. What if I told you that in the month of September, you can not only lose five to 15 pounds, feel better, healthier and happier, but also literally get paid for it. And she puts in there, I'm not talking about coaching others or working a business, just doing these things for 30 days. Number one, working out 30 minutes a day. Two, drinking Shakeology and getting a cut of one to $3 million for doing so. Not a joke, not a scheme, no catch. This is for real. Are you in? Results may vary. Comment below. So see, she did her call, she did her call to action. Comment below. And simple pictures, you guys can do these at home. But do take a moment after the call to go and look at their pages and just see these posts and what they're doing. But as Lauren said, it's really important to make sure that you do something that speaks to you and, you know, make it your own. Um, do a picture of yourself and talk about why you're excited and what, you know, what you're going to do about it. And if you're not a storyteller, don't become one on this post because people will be like, oh, wow. But if you are, you can do it. If you're breadcrumber, be like Candace. Super simple. Yeah. One of the things that Anita does really well, and the reason that there's two pictures here, you guys, is that she actually uses the exact same words with multiple pictures. And she posts them multiple times over the course of a week. And, you know, so I didn't recopy the exact same words that she had from the post on the left because she used those exact same words without the spots are filling up fast with this other picture that you guys see on the right. She got a great amount of interaction with both. And then she can also use one of these posts and she can use it as an ad on her like page she can boost it and then she also takes the picture that she made on her like page and she shares it to her personal page and if you go to her page like Tanya said you can actually see that she did this and then she kind of does a one little short paragraph above the exact same thing that you see on the left that talks about getting excited for the health bet. So it's really giving her exposure on all of her social media sites. And she also posts this on her Instagram as well. And I'm sure she does a Snapchat, but I don't understand Snapchat. So, um, Me either. <laughs> but this is just a really great way. But that's why I, sh I showed you these two different pictures, because that's another idea. If you're afraid of wording, use the exact same wording and just take multiple pictures and share it out there different times of day. Play with it. it doesn't, if it fails and you get crickets, delete the picture and try it again. Try it at a different time. Try it on a different platform. There's nothing to say that you can't post it in a million different places. And I think that a lot of people get scared like, oh, well, they're going to know that I already posted that. Not really unless they're really looking at the time. They're just going to think, oh, I already saw that. I saw that this morning. They don't know that you deleted it and reposted it. So just try again. Okay. This is Sarah, and Sarah is an elite coach. I believe she is a nine-star diamond now, but she also just had a baby, um, and she has been doing country heat to get back in shape, and she, it's also breastfeeding awareness week, if you guys didn't know that, um, which is part of why she's breastfeeding in her picture, but um, she just talks about, this is what I'm doing. I'm a hot, sweaty mess. I'm a mom, and I'm trying to take care of my kid at the same time, but Here's this. What if I told you that in the month of September, you could not only lose five to 15 pounds, feel better, healthier, happier, but also literally get paid for it. Um, I'm not talking about coaching others or working the business either. Just doing these three things every day for 30 days, working out 30 minutes a day, drinking Shakeology, logging both in uh, my free tracker app. It's uh, I think challenge tracker app is what she meant and getting a cut of one to $3 million for doing so. No joke, no catch. This shiz is for real. Are you guys in comment below to join my health bet? Results may vary. So again, it's really the same trend. You guys are seeing the exact same thing from all of these coaches just put into your own, into their own words. They're giving you what they can expect what they have to do, what they could possibly win, and how they can get involved. Those are like the key points that every single post that you guys make about this should have, unless it's like a one-liner breadcrumbing post. And you can see she got a lot of great interaction down here. Um, and people are excited about this. Okay. All right. This is Brooke, and you guys can see her posts. And she... Um, is also an elite coach. She put, do you struggle with the motivation to work out and stick to an eating plan? If so, I'm looking for you to join my health bet challenge where you can will bet on yourself to stick to your customized plan that I will give you to hit your goals. And guess what? You will win money. And she's got the little money emoji in there if you stick to your plan. Yes, that's right. You'll get paid to hit your goals. 
This isn't a small sum either. You will be splitting the current pot of 1.5 million, but it's expected to get up to 3 million by the time we start on September 5th. I'm inviting as many of my followers as possible to join this challenge with me and get a piece of that pot. There's no limit on who joins us. I want to see you get paid to hit your goals. What's really awesome is the focus on the actions and not results. Although we know if you focus on actions, you tend to get results. That's right. There's no results winner like most of these challenges. If you're consistent with the actions below for four weeks, you win a portion. You work out at least three times a week and log in on our exclusive private app. This does not have to be a beach body workout. If running's your thing, it counts. You, you drink a superfood shake, Shakeology every day. There's no catch. Just results and rewards, comment below to join us. And then she put in there the disclaimer, only for those in the US and Canada, and not for those already happily working with a beach body coach or a coach yourself, unless on my team. Please contact your coach for more support. A lot of times with the um, coaches, like I know for me, I always get like other people's coaches reaching out to me because they don't quite get how it works. So I always make sure to refer them back to their coach. Um, so I think she actually um, probably promoted this one, which is why she had to put the disclaimer on there. Yeah. And one of the things that Brooke mentioned to us, and I completely agree with her because I do this too, and I hope that you guys, we've talked about this before, but when you guys are doing hard posts, you want to ask and make really engaging posts before you do a hard post. So ask questions that you know people are going to comment on. Ask for opinions. Just get people to be commenting and liking on your stuff so that when you do do a post like this, more eyes are going to see it. And I hope that you guys also see like kind of a little bit of a trend is that you know, not everybody's pictures, like Brooke's post looks super fabulous. And she's, you know, got this great picture of herself with these great words. It looks like it's professionally done, right? But then you see some of the other girls' pictures and they don't have to be professionally like this. You can literally throw a picture of yourself up there, sweaty and all right after you work out and just say, you want to make a bet. So I don't, I feel like a lot of coaches sometimes get hung up on, I don't know what to say. I don't have a picture that's good enough. People aren't going to want to see that. Who's going to want to look at that sweaty mess? It's you. As long as it is you and you feel like you're being true to yourself, if you've never done like a professional picture like this, don't try and do it now. Don't get lost in like an hour of trying to create some pretty fancy picture. Literally work out, take a picture of yourself and throw it up there or stop what you're doing as soon as we're done with this. Grab a camera or an iPad or something. I did mine with my iPad because I needed my phone to take my picture. And, you know, I snapped a picture of myself holding my iPad and some cash. Like, you know, like that's it. Um, that's all you have to do. Just be you, be true to yourself and just share how excited you are about this. And if you're not excited, get excited because you as a coach can also earn some of this money. So you want to be just as excited as your challengers. Okay. This is my girl, Steph and Steph is, uh, one of my coaches. She's been a coach for a while with me. She's a diamond, but she is somebody who has, um, She's got a lot of stuff going on in her life and she's using this health bet to get herself back on track and to move herself forward. Steph is an amazing coach. She runs amazing challenge groups. And so she's really excited about it. So this is her again. I can tell she's got her pretty little light set up and she just took a picture of herself and then used probably like Rona designs or pick monkey or something and created that pretty picture of herself. Um, and she is, Steph is hilarious. And that's one of the things that people follow her for. So she's also very like blunt to the point. And she is also a storyteller. So she is over here talking about why she's so excited. And she's using like her own tone of voice when she tells her story and exactly why she's excited about this, why, you know, she needs to be held, ac held accountable. Exactly. You know, they are going to get a piece of that prize. Same thing. I don't really need to read the whole thing. I don't think if you guys want to, you can screenshot it. Just if you have a Mac hit shift command three and it'll screenshot this for you, but you can look up Steph Merritt um, and go to her page and follow her there. She's in our climbing the ladder group. So, um, but you know, this is just her talking about exactly what is going on and she's sharing her story and what she's going to get. But I just wanted you guys to see again. And it looks like, you know, she has taken what Bonnie said and made it her own and that's totally okay. And that's why we're showing you guys these things is that you can take ideas from other coaches 
and you can make them your own, but just don't ever copy and paste word for word. Make sure that it has your own tone of voice, your own verbiage, change up the picture, make it yourself and put it out there. And don't be scared to do it. Just do it. Don't overthink it. Okay. Do you want me to do this one too? Since sure. she's not Okay. This is Meg and you guys saw Meg in the climbing the ladder group. She um, got on for team leader week and she kind of explained a breakdown and step-by-step -step of how to help you guys move up the ladder. Um, if you didn't go back and watch her video, cause she gave you guys some really great tips on goal setting and using, um, <coughs> using your, um, why can't I think of it? Your tracker daily tracker. Um, but Meg is all about living a balanced life and she is sharing exactly that here. She's sharing pictures of food and her family and her little boy, her little boy is like the center of her life. And she has spent a ton of time this summer at the beach. So she's actually there now. And she was just kind of sharing, Hey, I'm heading back to the beach tomorrow for the last week of summer before Luca starts school. Um, I'm, filled with a lot of emotions, but really looking forward to getting my family back on track. I'm a little puffy in the midsection because I've been straight up enjoying summer. My meals have been slacking and I've definitely been enjoying a lot of ice cream with my boo. It's his favorite thing and I'll never deny myself my summer treats with my family. Starting on September 5th, Jason and I will be participating in the Beachbody Health Bet. It's a chance to win serious money up to $3 million in the cash pot just for doing what I know works, just for doing what I know makes me feel good and just doing what I know is good for me. So September 5th, I want you to join us. We're going to select a workout program you will enjoy. Have, have you follow a meal guide, meal prep, and drink Shakeology daily, but there is a catch. You have to log into your Challenge Tracker app with your workout and your shake each day and let me and the big brother at Beachbody know you did, did it to win the cash. Sound like a plan? Message me or comment below. If you leave your email address below, I'll need that to invite you to the app. Happy Friday and enjoy those treats and summer beers because starting September 5th, it's time to get serious. So she's like being brutally honest there. There's no like, and she's talking about herself. She's talking about how she's excited about it, how she's planning to use it to help her family get back on track after enjoying summer and overindulging. Um, and that is being real. That's being a hundred percent honest and sharing her part of her. And that's what I love about her is that she talks about how she's not like a super like fitnessy person. She's literally just a mom who is trying to make everyday work. And this is something that's going to help her stay accountable and also her challengers and her family. So, okay. All right. All right, you guys. <clears throat> Sorry. My thumbnail is going crazy too. <laughs> um, all right. Amy said, New school year, new beginnings, new routines, and new money. Yep, we are betting on your health, and I'm hoping you have more money in your pocket as a result. She's not really betting, but she makes a good prop. <laughs> How? What if I told you that there is a pot of money around $1 to $3 million, and you could win a piece of that pot? Here's how. Commit to a beach body workout three times per week. You can do it from your house and need only 30 minutes. Drink your superfood Shakeology. Um, I think she meant to put five times per week. Shared on a cool app with others in my group who are also sharing. Continue this for four weeks starting September 5th. That's it. Do this and you can win a piece of the pot. This is an awesome opportunity to get in shape and do try something new from the comfort of your own home. I've always found that money is a good motivator. How about you? This challenge will run out of a free app. Comment below or message me if you want to be added. So you guys, she's really promoting the money portion there and really, you know, getting people you know, I'm betting on you. She's got her daughter in the picture. She's got her down there with the, you know, well, that's the other one that's Brooke, but she's, you know, she's just got a picture. Like Lauren said, it doesn't have to be a professional picture. She just took a picture of her daughter holding a bunch of cash. <laughs> so it's pretty cute. And you just talk about like the new school starting. A lot of people are wanting to get back in a routine. So she's hitting on not only the people that want to get back in routine, but also that they could win a piece of the pot. And she lays it all out there. Super simple, super easy. It's great. And so you guys can see down at the bottom, I put these two together because they're really playing it up to moms and they're playing it up to the school year starting because um, 
where these two live on the East Coast, they're actually starting back up school next week. Um, so I know a lot of us, our kids have already gone back, but um, for a lot of the East Coast kids, they go back either after Labor Day or they start on the 29th. So Brooke's doing the same thing. Um, she's just playing it to moms. I'll read the first part because you guys can see the bottom part. It's basically the exact same thing. But her first paragraph says, it's back in school. Summer chaos is over. It's time to focus on us a little bit. Yes, moms. I'm taking, I'm talking to you just in case results weren't enough incentive to start a health and fitness journey. September, sorry, my, I have something in my eye. September, we get to make money for working out and drinking our shakes. I'll take it. And then she goes on to explain what she's talking about. Same thing, drink shakes, do your workout. Um, and, uh, get, a pot, piece of the pot and then she gives the call to action at the bottom explains when it starts all of that good stuff so I think everybody's gotten a, a pretty good idea of what we're trying to share here we gave you guys like an over abundance of examples because that's what everybody wanted to see everybody loves to get ideas from other people and these are some pretty great ones but what I recommend you do is that if you have other coaches that you look up to or the coaches that you feel like you identify with go look on their pages and see how they are marketing this health bet. See how they are doing it. Please, please, please. I'm going to say it again. Do not copy and paste word for word. Somebody else's stuff. It happens all the time. Um, please change it up. It can be similar, you guys, but you know, just make sure you use your own tone of voice and create your own picture, do your own thing. But these are some really great examples and make sure you use those key points that we talked about the what, the when, the why, and the how. Um, it's pretty simple. Okay, so the payout. Is that you, Tanya? Or is that um, me? Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. It's me. <laughs> I have to pull up my phone since I can't see my thing. Okay, so the payout. I feel like this is a lot of, this is the question that a lot of people have, and unless you read the FAQ, you don't know how it's working. Um, so I went and did a little research because it was a question I had because I hadn't read it yet either. Um, and this is how it's going to work. So the prize pool is they are keeping it open until um, I believe the end of August. And once they have a final total, um, the prize pool is going to be split between all el eligible participants. We talked about how they become eligible. Um, then the prize pool total of what they are actually going to get a cut of is going to be sent out via email that they have on record with their TVB account, the one that they are registered through the app with on September 7th. Um, they're going to send that out. So they know here's how many people are participating and here is what your possible like cut could be basically. Um, then all winners or people who have qualified and have checked in every day, um, they are going to be sent an email on October 7th to let them know like, hey, you're a winner. Here's what you're going to get paid out. Um, and then if you are a coach and you are getting paid out, then the coaches will be paid out in commission and it'll go into your commission check about two to four weeks after October 2nd. And then um, it is the second, right? Yeah. October 2nd. October 2nd. <laughs> Customers will, I see the 7th and I'm like, hold up. Um, okay. So October 2nd, it will be two to four weeks later. And then customers will be paid out via a check in the mail that's going to the address that they have on file. And it says it over and over and over again, very specifically in the back. This has got to be valid. All of their information has to match up their names, their first name, their last name, their email address, and their, their uh, mailing address, because this is where the check is going. So um, if they want to get paid, all of that has to match, but it's going to them in the mail six to eight weeks after October 2nd. And they close out the, um, the health bet. And that's pretty much it. You guys, this Hi. is where you can go. I'll let Tanya wrap it up for us, but this is where you guys can go to get more info. And those are the contest weeks for you guys. All right, you guys. And there's one more thing I need to tell you about because it was just posted on the wall and I just posted it in my team page right before we got on this call. And, um, I need to share it in the ladder group too. But, um, and we, I do realize that most of the posts that we did post in this group did violate this. So I want to tell you real quick, but it's an easy thing they can change. So our legal department, um, posted because they have to follow all these compliance rules. Um, this is, came, came straight from legal. 
as you know, we are getting ready for the Beach Body Health Bet to start, and now's the perfect time to sign up your challenge group so your coaches and customers can share in this amazing pot of over $1 million. When you are posting and speaking about it, please make sure you're always calling it the Beach Body Health Bet rather than just the Health Bet or Beach Body Bet. There are various regulatory reasons, and we want to make sure we are matching our contest rules. And so thank you for your help with this. Please pass it to your team. So make sure you guys, I, that was just like told to us literally um, like just over an hour ago. So I am still trying to get it out, but just make sure you call it the beach body health bet. Um, whenever there's money involved, there's all these weird regulatory things and we find out about them as we go along, unfortunately. So just make sure, because I know most of you haven't done your post yet, so it's perfect. You can do it, and I'll post that in the team page right after. Um, so make sure you read the FAQ. It's actually, you know, we've talked about it a lot, but I always tell people, read it. I would put this page right here that we have on your phone so you know week one is september 5th through the 11th week two is september 12th through the 18th week three is september 19th through the 25th and week four is september 26th through october 2nd so each of those weeks they need to log each of those four weeks three workouts doesn't have to be a beach body workout that's been confirmed it just has to be a workout but they do have to do five days of shakeology which is awesome so um Make sure they know when you're setting this group up that this is how they need to do it and that you remind them, did you do your workout? I mean, the, the challenge tracker app reminds them to log, but just in case, I would really talk to them. But read the FAQ. And then I know we have questions. All right, I'm going to stop sharing now if that's okay. great. Yeah. But no yeah. problem. Hang out of the way. And if you have questions, just type them in the chat and we are going to go through them. There's a lot. <laughs> yeah. I'm just now seeing them. So. <laughs> Hold on here. Let me go back and make sure. Okay. Um, those have all been talked about. Um, and Amanda brought up a good point. If you sign them up on September 4th, yes, they'll get in on there, but they won't be eligible if they don't have their shakes and their workouts. Each body on demand they can do right away. Um, Shakeology, if they, you know, I would have them order it from you. And if you've got extra samples and they need it really um, quick. Uh, thanks, Lindsay. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, make sure that they um, log um, you know, they have their Shakeology in time. So you might, that might require you sending some samples um, to them to get them through those first couple days and they might have to do expedited shipping. But you guys, it's a lot of money on the line for doing something super simple, um, like taking care of yourself. Uh, okay, let's get back to these questions. Sorry, there's a lot. Um, I'm trying to go through them. I think it's just a lot of people like talking. Um... Yeah, make so you want to make sure the cutoff dates before that. You're always going to have stragglers, though. I don't think I've ever done a group without a straggler. Um, oh, and I'm making my husband do it too. So my husband does work out. He does drink Shakeology, but he doesn't participate in Facebook. But he will do an app. Um, okay, I think we answered the question about getting paid, but Steph was asking questions about getting paid the whole month. But no, you get paid out at the end. Hopefully. Yeah. October 7th. And if you're a coach, so that means your discount coaches, you want to let them know they want to make sure they've got their EFT set up because that way, otherwise they're going to get a paper check and get a $2 fee taken out. So I would tell them to get their, um, you know, make sure they've got their EFT set up in their correct address on file. Um, cause I know a lot of discount coaches don't have that. Like my mom's a discount coach and she does not have an EFT cause she had no intention of working the business. But if she she's going to participate, she's going to get paid through a commission check. Is there any? Somebody asked if they can use the health bet uh, photo as their cover page, and I that's a good question. I think it's okay as long as it's like the actual one from Beachbody, right? Like because it has to say the health bet, like the Beachbody health bet. Now I'm not so sure because of legal's post. I didn't see that. So, I um, probably like, wouldn't anyways. Yeah. I would just use pictures of you and just talk about it and post about it and 
do conversations with your customers. Like I've been going through all my old follow-ups, you know, all the people on the fence. And I'm like, I'm not sure if you'd be interested, but have you heard about, you know, I know we had talked about a challenge group in the past. Have you heard about the new Beachbody Health Bet? And they're all like, what is that? Um, and, you know, I just kind of, just a quick little email message to them. And I've had, I have like a message box full right now that I need to go through. Um, so it's really going to take some work on your part. So I would, you know, making sure you do those reach outs. So I would schedule some time to get that done, you know, in the next couple of days and just bang them out and follow up with everybody. Um, yeah, Amber, I wouldn't put it on your cover page on your Facebook like page because, um, for two reasons, I know that, um, with Beachbody, we're not, a, you know, we're kind of limited on what we can do. And then the other reason it might, um, it might be too like salesy. So that I wouldn't do that. I would, I would do like a live video or something like that or post. My team will tell you like any of them that are on there right now, I will stalk them and I will make them take it down. If they post anything that is like a stock picture or something that Beachbody gave to us, because that just like, to me, it just screams like, I'm trying to sell you something. I'm trying to sell you something, even though this time we're really not like, it's really just a really great idea. But I just feel like people are going to turn their eyes away from things like that because they want to see you. They want to feel related. They want to like feel like you relate to them, that you understand where they're coming from, that they can look up to you as somebody who they just want to do what you're doing, but they don't want to be sold to. They want to be like told a story. They want to be inspired. So um, that's just like my rule that I have for my team is that it's like the very first thing that I tell them when they sign up as a coach is do not post a stock photo. So I wouldn't do it. Um, Jenny brought up a really good point. She posted hers on her Instagram and you guys, I would tell you to go to Jenny Hobbs posts on her page after this call. Cause she's had a lot of good interaction on hers and she posted on Instagram and she said that the health bed is not on Facebook. So she picked up a person who doesn't have a, you know, because it's not on Facebook they, and those people that there's a lot of people that are on Instagram that refuse to get on Facebook. Um, like I know like a lot of the younger generation, um, they say now that's outdated. So they all go Instagram or Snapchat, which I don't, I'm on Instagram, but don't get Snapchat yet. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, Steph said something about their shake order being current. I don't think it has to be current as long as it shows that they have ordered it in the past. Like in the pictures, you guys, when, when you guys check in for Shakeology, you have to use a picture. It has to be accompanied by a picture. And the examples that it gave you are like, you can take a picture of your shake on its own. You can take a picture of you prepping it. You can take a picture of you drinking it. Like this is the, the time where, yeah, I'm going to say you're allowed to take a picture of you like kissing and sharing your shake cup like that. <laughs> like, yes, do that. Um, because it won't count unless it is accompanied by a picture. Your workouts do not have to be accompanied by pictures, but your Shakeology does. So, um, yeah, as long as they have it and they can show that it's actually Shakeology, then, and if they win, they can go back through their account and see, oh, they ordered Shakeology in the past. Maybe it's an old bag. Like they just have to show that they ordered it at some point. So no, I don't think it has to be current. Um, Nancy asked a good question. Does the packaging have to be in the photo to prove it's actually Shakeology and not the crap from Walmart? I mean, it doesn't say that specifically. Mm -hmm. It just says that you have to take a picture of your shake and that you have to be drinking it. But again, if they don't have an order on file that they purchased Shakeology in the past, I'm sure. Let me just tell you guys, like they audit us for mm -hmm. bonuses and all of this stuff, like nobody's business when it comes to our addresses, our customer orders that are being placed, like they get in your business when it comes to paying people out. So I can only imagine that they're going to run a report and check and see that everybody that is actually qualified to earn some money has actually purchased Shakeology from Team Beachbody in the past. That would yeah, be they're not going to give it. I mean, they're going to be strict because people always try to play the system. And I, and Lauren's right. Like we get, I mean, one wrong thing and we, we get in trouble. So they're going to audit. They have the people to do it. And Lindsay said, no, Carl answered that on his page. So it doesn't have to be branded. And Amanda pointed a good question. This is where we as coaches need to have integrity. 
So for example, I had somebody reach out to me and they're like, I want to be in the health bet. And they were actually coached by someone on my team that's no longer a coach. And, but he still had a Shakeology. And so we talked about it and he's like, well, I still have, you know, I still have two bags of Shakeology. And, um, and so, you know, I had to take his word on it and I believe him. He's, you know, he hasn't done anything in the past to do it. But if I get some random person, I don't know if I would put them in my group. Um, let me see here. What did Amanda say? I have had to tell some of my clients who won't um, re-up and some have ordered just to be in it. I mean, guys, I don't want to sound bad, but this is like a lot of people are, you're going to always have people that lie. It's horrible. And, um, but as you know, Carl said, we have good detectives that pay attention and we have awesome coaches and customers who actually want results more than the money. And that's really what it's about. It's just a fun way to get people motivated and to get healthy. Um, you know, the money's that I seen on the cake. Um, I mean, you know, you see the lottery machines, people stand outside all the time to order from, you know, those big pots and stuff. But I mean, this is really to get those people that would never order before just to give them a little extra edge because they're making a bet on themselves. So if you think about it, think about it from this perspective. A lot of people feel guilty taking time for themselves. I know we as moms always, you know, a lot of that's the biggest objection I, objection I get. They're like, I just feel like I shouldn't give the time because I should be with my kids. Well, if they're thinking they could earn, you know, get paid for doing it, then that negates the objection. It actually gives them like they can tell themselves it's okay to do it. So they're going to do it for that reason. I know a couple of people that are doing it because they're like, oh, well, I don't feel so bad because I could earn money. And as Heather's pointed out in the comments here, she said, Christmas is around the corner. They're going to get their check right before Christmas. I don't know how much that check's going to be, but that every little bit helps for Christmas presents. So it's a really good time. Um, and a really good, you know, it's just a really fun way to do things. I have people in my challenge groups, when I give away like hippie headbands or sam samples of Shakeology, they go crazy. Could they go buy their own hippie headband? Heck yeah. But winning it's more fun, right? That's the fun of it. I like to win stuff. I, I know most people do. Um, oh yeah, Lauren said, and for the people who just don't want to pay for Shakeology, they will get their money back for it when they drink it for a month. Yeah. Um, and this is Amanda. I wasn't going to call you out, Amanda, but I, I remember you started your weight loss journey because of a $20 diet that she did at work. So she wouldn't even, you know, and so did Brianne, her longest coach joined her and is still here. And so she probably wouldn't have started her health journey had she not done the diet bed at work. I remember she started that and she started with insanity. And that was before I coached her. That's how she got started. That's how she signed up for a free Team Beachbody account and became a lead to me. Um, so you never know. But it's just a great way for people in a fun way to get involved. And it's going to force you to use the Challenge Tracker app, which everybody should be using, myself included. Oh, and see, she told her husband, I will earn his money back. We can't afford to lose it. So that's what she did for the 20 bucks she invested. So, and look at where she is now. That bet paid off. She bet on herself and it paid off a lot. Um, oh, Jenny, sorry. Are there any other disclaimers required other than the new one? I, I don't believe so. I would definitely read the FAQ. I think it's just about being smart. Like, don't ever guarantee results. Like, you're going to lose 20 pounds or you're going to win, you know, X amount of money. Just say you can have a chance of winning up to this amount. Um, we just have to be really careful. And that last one kind of threw me for a little loop. And that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, cause it had just literally been posted. Um, because we have to be really careful when money's involved, but I think Jenny, I think you're okay. Um, just that one is the only one that they're talking about right now. Oh yeah. Amanda said, I saw someone promise they would win their money back the other day. I think that's not smart. And it's potential to upset people after. And yeah, Lauren said, and obviously the income disclaimer, if you're sharing a story about making money. Yeah, you guys don't promise anybody any amount of money. Just, I even said like, I know they can win a share of the pot, but I just say a chance, like an opera, you know, it's an opportunity. I don't ever over promise. I'm be, or even promise stuff like that because you never know um, what it could be. And I don't want people mad at me. I never tell someone that, oh yeah, you're going to lose 20 pounds if you do the 21 day fix. They say you could, 
you know, you've got to put in the work and let's see what we can do to help you reach your goals. That's what I always do. Um, because I don't want to, you know, lie to my customers because you never know what could happen. Plus, what if they miss a week and then they're like, oh, I thought that I was supposed to win, but they missed like logging for a week or missed the Shakeology or something. And then they're like, where's my money? You told me I'd win all my money back. Don't do that. <laughs> so, um, okay. Yeah, they have to log. You're right, Heather. They have to log and they have to have their Team Beachbody account. Taylor said there are a lot of moms groups in town that sell and resell on Shakeology on the black market. So frustrating. I've had people approach me to join the bet, but have their shakes that way. Do you know anything about that, Lauren? They have to have ordered it in the past. Is that correct? Well, if it says up here that what Carl said is that they're very good detectives and they pay attention and that they only have awesome customers and customers. My guess would be that, yeah, they're going to look to see if people have ordered it in the past, but I don't know. I mean, I can't, I, I don't know. There's been nothing said specifically about that, but I mean, I think if they're showing that they've, because they can, I mean, Beachbody sells, sells their stuff on Amazon. So I think as long as they're a registered TBB customer and they're actually using the actual Shakeology product, then it's probably fine. Yeah. Make sure they're signed up as a coach under a customer under you though. Don't yeah. add people that aren't your customer. Like I never don't do that. Um, and I don't know if you guys know this, but once you actually add them to your group and you're using the email address that they have on file, it makes them your customer. So if they're not assigned a coach to, like if they're not assigned a coach, the second that you put their name in there, they are automatically yours. Awesome. All right. Yep. And yep. Pictures with their Shakeology. So definitely take some time to read the FAQ, read the fine print, go watch Carl's video that he posted on his page. Um, you know, take the time because it's a big opportunity for your business and you don't want to miss it. Anything else you want to add, Lauren? Are we, I know we're over time. I'm sorry, you guys, but this is such a big deal that we decided um, to replace our normal call with this um, just because there's so many questions and we as leaders want to make sure we help you launch this. So if you have any questions, please let us know and um, make sure that you know you reach out to your upline diamond or your star diamond and have them help you. The other cool thing is you can run groups on the challenge tracker with multiple coaches. So if you're a newer coach, I would highly, highly suggest running it with your upline coach. Um, just to get that practice and get some help. And so you're not completely overwhelmed because I know we have a few newbies on here. Um, don't try to do all that at once. I know that um, your upline um, would be happy to help you with that. And, how, uh, you know, you, they can make you an admin in their group. So, all right, share your post that you do. If you do one, um, share it in the Climbing the Ladder group so we can see it. We'll put up a post that says, um, you know, share your um, – share your beach body health bet posts or your video. Um, so in the, in the comments, we can check them all out and see how you guys did. Um, of course we're not like, we just want to see that you did it. Um, so make sure you get that up no later, I would say than tomorrow night. So if I know tonight's kind of already late, um, but get it up tomorrow, like do it. Don't, you know, don't wait. All right, you guys. One more question real quick. Sure. And I is a good one to touch on um, is somebody asked um, if you have a coach that is in, you know, or you have a customer, like a discount or a coach that's yours, that is your personally sponsored coach, but they want to participate in another group as well. You can actually participate in multiple groups. However, you will only, your posts will only count if everything is posted in one single group. So you can't post like for one week in this group and then one week in the next group and then one week in like the, the Beachbody corporate group and expect to win it. Your posts have to be consistent in one single group across the entire thing to be able to win. 
like you have to have all of your stuff logged. Now, I don't know if I did see something in the FAQ about them. Um, this is another thing where I think you just need to go back and really read the FAQ if you're planning on doing that. But let's be honest, don't make it harder for yourself than it really needs to be. Like just join one group and have them be a part of that one group. Um, you know, if I would say that if you have a, a coach that's a discount coach and they want to participate, put them in your group and have them be in your group only. If you have, I know I've had some discount coaches that are under some of my coaches that are not active anymore that are going to join my group because their coach isn't running one. So just reach out to your discount coaches and offer them. This is another great way to interact with your coaches who are inactive, you guys. Like your coaches that are already on Shakeology or maybe they've gone stale like because they have an overabundance of it and they don't know what to do with it. This is a great way for you to reach out and say, hey, I just wanted to check in with you and see how your workouts were going. I noticed you haven't ordered Shakeology in a little while. I was just wondering if you were still interested in, you know, like in using it <laughs> or what your intentions were with coaching or your goals were. If you just want to be a discount coach, I have a really great opportunity for you to kind of get started again. Let me tell you about this health bet. So, I mean, put that on your schedule of things to do this week. But if you have coaches, go through your downline and find all of your inactive coaches and reach out to them and share this health bet with them because they guarantee you some of them are going to re-up if they know they have a chance to possibly win some money with it. So, um, but yeah, I would just participate in one group. I wouldn't try and spread yourself thin over multiple groups because it is going to get hard. I can almost guarantee that you're going to miss a post somewhere. Or you're going to post in the wrong group twice or something. So I would just stick to one. Um, but I'm pretty sure that they said that it only counts um, as long as it's registered to your email within that one group. So, okay. Awesome. And real quick, just something that I said in the chat, if they have um, extra, like you get these discount coaches that are like, oh, I have three bags of Shakeology, tell them to get their spouse on the health bet. You know, have them have their spouse join them for accountability, do the workouts together, drink the Shakeology. If they have a child over 18, have them get in on it with them. They do need to have a Team Beach Body account set up. Um, they can refer them to you. So you can sign them up, get them added to the group but that's a good way to also help them get rid of their stash and they can, you know, they have more opportunity to win money. So, you know, and then they also get their spouse healthy. Um, they do have to be 18 or over. So if they have children and they're eight, I know some of you have adult children. It's a great way to get them on too. All right, you guys, I know we ran way over, but I really appreciate you guys bearing with us because it's important and Lauren will post the slides after. So if you're like, I missed that post that you did, she's going to get those posted. I'm going to upload the call right away. Tell your coaches to listen to this call. They need to know how to do this correctly. It's just a too big of an opportunity for them to miss out on. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks again for coming.